Not if, but where, and what should it be capable of? That's what the discussion is boiling down to for the new hospital that will serve the next generation of Guamanians. And there was no shortage of input either, as the public hearing stretched beyond its allotted time, as after more than five hours, there were still people waiting to testify. For the past few days prior, the governor has been rallying support for her plan to build a medical complex on Crown Land in Barragata owned by the Ancestral Lands Commission. It would incorporate a hospital, public health, behavioral health and a veterans clinic. But there's been strong opposition from the medical community, not only about the location, but whether such an all-encompassing facility needs to be built. Dr. Thomas Shea is one of them who have been saying that Epau Point and not Barragata Crownland makes more sense. Gita will not be able to ever replace the medical infrastructure that's built over the last decades. I would say 30, 30 years is what I've been seeing. Since I arrived on Guam with the U.S. Navy, I have seen Tamuning developed in, in medical infrastructure. The things we do for patients is actually amazing. So Epau is built for this. The medical infrastructure, the complex that you're all talking about, is already built. It's in Tamaning. All we need really is a hospital. Epau Point is where it should be. Dr. Hoa Wen also presented a long list of other reasons why he was against Barragata, but also addressed what became one of the main focal points of the discussion, the planned addition of a veterans clinic for the thousands of underserved vets here. He says it's not realistic. I hope that you can understand a little bit more why I'm so passionate about this. Because we cannot promise our veteran things that we cannot deliver 100%. I'm one of you. I will be there with you. But I need for you to understand that we cannot control locally. It's above the governor. I have nothing with the governor. I will support her, but only if the decision is correct for everyone, including you guys. Senator Chris Barnett weighed in. For me, there are two different issues going on here, the location and whether or not we build a complex or um, a hospital. And I, I believe that we can reach an agreement on both of these issues if we're honest and if we're forthcoming with all the um, information uh, that is before us. But that being said, I, I do know that the veterans are a group that, uh, and I've talked to many veterans, uh, they're a group that feels overlooked and neglected. And I commend the governor for uh, discussing these plans with the veterans. And obviously she has uh, got you guys really wound up and, and sent you guys down here. Um, but again, I, I wanna be careful in what we can promise and what we can deliver. But veteran Christopher Flores says veterans came on their own to support what they believe in. I'm tired of this fear mongering from the doctors. Oh, every minute is precious. Oh, it's, it's so critical that it's, it's, it's around the other medical facilities. Well, guess what? We have ambulance services now that take care of you right when they respond at your residence. We have the greatest firefighters here and EMT specialists when they respond. Back then in the 60s and 70s, when our ambulance came, that's all they did was transported you to the hospital. Now, they have life-saving equipment in that ambulance. So I ask you again to support this bill. Forget about this thing about drive time and, and uh, all the medical, little medical facilities are around Tamuning. Do it where it needs to be at, where we can expand and also get the other government agencies out of the rental business and into government land. What is so hard with that? It's a point seemingly echoed by Senator Tom Fisher. about the legislature intruding on an executive function. We have to be careful about that. Um, we must, as they say these days, we must stay in our lane. We legislate. We don't get into the weeds. That's for the executive branch. You guys go build the hospital. You build the medical uh, facility. Look to us to help you do it. 
It's an executive function. Not everyone who wanted to got to testify. The hearing will continue Friday morning. Nestor Lecanto, KOAM News.